Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian and I want to welcome you back to Beginning C Sharp with Unity Screencast Series. In this episode, you'll learn about the ternary operator. The ternary operator, like if statements, is a great way for you to assign values to your variables based on certain conditions. In this episode, you'll also learn about the mysteries of null. Oftentimes, you'll want to set values based on a condition. For instance, imagine a fantasy game that you want to assign a default weapon name based on it being enchanted. For a regular sword, you'd call it plain old iron sword, whereas an enchanted sword would be called sword of slaying. Let's do this using the techniques you've already learned. First, you'd start out with the following. The name is a simple string, but notice you don't assign a value to it. Although you haven't assigned it a value, it does contain something like a value, and that something is called Wait for it. Null. Null means an absence of value. It's different from zero. Zero is a value, whereas null means nothing. If you try to use a null value in an expression, you'll get a nasty error. If you perform operations on null, you'll also get an error. Yet, null is important. It lets you know that a value hasn't been assigned. It can also mean things have gone wrong as well. For instance, Imagine you tried to set a value from the internet and the network wasn't operational. You'd know something went wrong when you found a null value instead of a number. Back to the code. In the example, a variable is defined without a value. This is the equivalent to this. Mind you, this only occurs with object types such as a string. Number types like an int or a float will default to zero although you can opt into using null values through the use of nullable types. To make a nullable type, simply put a question mark after the type like so. To use a nullable type with a regular number, you need to make a cast, or you can use the value property. You'll learn about properties later in this series. Keep in mind, if the value is null, an error will be thrown so you always want to test for null. For now, avoid using nullable types until you feel comfortable with the language. Back to our previous example. So now you know this is equal to this. Now to make the assignment. Here's where you'd use an if statement. As you can see, you check to see if the sword is enchanted and then populate the variable based on that conditional. The ternary operator takes this block of code and converts it into one simple statement. Here's the breakdown of how this works. First, you set up your variable like you've always done. You give it a type and then a variable name. After the assignment, you set the condition. The condition is like any condition in an if statement. This condition, like an if statement, must resolve to either a true or false value. After the condition, you'll see a question mark. The question mark stands for then, meaning if is enchanted is equal to true, then the value is sort of slaying. The colon is the else clause. If the is enchanted condition is false, then the return value is plain old iron sword. The entire statement reads if is enchanted is equal to true, then the sword name is sword of slaying, else the sword name is plain old iron sword. Overall, the ternary operator prevents you from creating large complicated if blocks for returning values. Let's see this in action. In this demo, what we're going to do is generate three random numbers, and we're going to check to see if those numbers are even and odd. And based on if they're even and odd, we'll print out a message to the console. So what we're going to do is create a new c -sharp script and we're gonna call this ternary, like so. Next, I'm gonna select the cube here and we're going to remove this component, like so. Now that we have that in place, I'm gonna add the ternary script to it. So I'm gonna select add component scripts and then I'll just select ternary, like so. And I'm going to double click to launch it, to launch video, Visual Studio. Here we are in Visual Studio. The first thing we're going to do is create an array of scores. The way we do this was we put int because this is going to be an array of ints. We'll call this scores and then we'll create it doing new. 
In this case, it's going to contain three elements. Now within start, we're going to add these elements now. In this case, we're just going to use random.range. And it's going to go from 0 to 100, like so. And I'm just going to copy these. Now within on disable, we'll write our actual logic. First, I'm going to create a string value of a result. Now remember, by not specifying a string here, this is going to be initialized with the null result. I shouldn't even say initialize, it will have the value of a null. Now we're going to get the result using our ternary operator. So the way we do this is we start off with parentheses. This is our condition. Now we're going to check to see if the first element of the array is rand is even. So we do scores and then we'll check zero modulus two. This determines this is divided into two. If there's any remainder, then that's odd. Otherwise, if it's even, it's e otherwise, if it's zero, it's even. So we do an equal equal zero like so. Now we put in the question mark, which is for the then, and we simply provide even. And the else condition is the colon. And then we can just put odd like so. Now let's print out the result. And we're going to copy this two more times. Okay, I'm going to save this and switch back to Unity. I'm going to open up our console here, and with the cube selected, I'm going to deselect this cube here. And here you can see 44 is even, 38 is even, and 79 is odd. Well, that's it for this screencast, but as always, we like to leave you off with a challenge. In your challenge, I want you to create a public field for the player's name. If there is a value in it, then Unity should write hello followed by the player's name. If the name is empty or null, it should write hello player1. To check if it is empty, check for an empty string like this. Have the text print out when the cube is disabled like you've been doing throughout this series. Well, that's it for this screencast. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. In your challenge, I gave you the task of creating a public variable for a name. And if there was a name, you would have a message written out to the console that says hello and the person's name. And if it wasn't a name, if, say if it was empty or if the string was null, then you would just simply write player one. Let's do that now. To do this, I'm gonna create a new script and we'll just call this player name. Now I'm gonna select the cube and I'm going to remove the ternary script here. And I'm gonna add the player name script. And now I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio. First, I'm going to create a public field. And we'll call this name, like so. Now we're going to write our logic within onDisable. Here we're going to check what the actual name is. We'll call this string player name. And now we're going to write our ternary operator. If the name doesn't equal emptiness or empty string and the name is not null, in fact, what I need to do is reverse those. Now we're going to put our question mark and the name will be, we're going to return the name like this. So we're going to return the value from that field. Otherwise, we're just going to call this player one, like so. Now I'm going to print out the message. Just like that. Now I'm going to return back to Unity. And here we're going to run our game. We're going to open up the console, select our cube, and now we will provide a name. In this case, we're not showing this up, so let's see what's wrong. 
we're using this value name here, we should probably use a different variable because Unity actually uses this name. We'll just call this P name. Now we're gonna switch back. We'll close that and you can see we have P name here. We'll say Brian. Now we'll start. We're gonna disable this cube. Actually, we'll enable the console here. We'll disable the cube and it says, hello, Brian. Now let's choose nothing. Let's enable the cube and disable the cube. Hello, player one. 